I bought a new planner and quite a few accessories. With that being said, today I am bringing you along to walk you through my new planner setup. Everything for this video was purchased from Etsy, so all the links will be down in the description below. So here it is. This is the planner, fully decked out, closed. Before we actually open this one, there are a few things I want to tell you about it. Right off the bat, this little buckle here is too far over. I do have this one stuffed, but it's still not as much as I had in my pink one. And you'll see in a minute, some of the tabs are already starting to bend. I would have really appreciated either having two options for tightness here or to have this buckle moved over some. Because see, if it were right here, you'd have plenty of space over here. Nothing would be getting bent. But right here, it's a very tight fit for this strap. And again, some of my dividers are already being bent. Another thing I want to point out to you with this one is the diameter of your rings in here. This one is an A5, but the diameter of the rings are much smaller than the ones in my pink binder. Again, making for a tighter fit, not having as much in this binder. I did contact a seller and ask if there were any other options for the diameter of the rings and I was told no that they're all the same. So for this print I'm a little disappointed. I like the A5 size but I would again like an option for this to be able to buckle here and a larger diameter of your rings. Let's go ahead and open this one up and take a look at the inside. As you may already be able to tell, I have decorated this one so much more than my pink one. The pink one was just kind of a first off for me, kind of just being a workhorse. This one I took a little bit more time, more effort, more money, and put a little bit more of a personal touch on this one. So let's go ahead and start left to right. So here, right off the bat, I do have this mechanical pencil. It does have my name engraved on it on two sides. So this is going to be from the shop Designs the Limit. While I do love the look of this one and the engraving, you had options. You could have it if you were left-handed, right-handed, or printed on both. I chose to go with the printed on both, but here's my qualm with that. I am right-handed. So for this to read, be able to read my name, it has to be coming from over here. To me, this is a left-handed way of doing this. That way, if you're left-handed and you're writing, your name can be read. For me, since I am right-handed, the other print on this side, as you can see, is upside down and going from right to left. So I personally think that if you chose the, to have it engraved on both sides, they should have done one for the right-handed one for the left-handed rather than the way that it is done. The whole reason I purchased this pencil is because I wanted it to go with the overall look of this planner. I had just a simple mechanical pencil with a pink one which kind of worked. They were pastel, but they did not really go with the aesthetic of this one. And I do want mechanical pencil because I need to be able to erase it. I change things way too much to be writing in pen and this one has a nice look to it if you are looking for a nicer mechanical pencil these can get very pricey now this one i paid about 20 bucks for and that does include the engraving on both sides i think that if you got either right or left just one side engraved it was a few dollars cheaper also be aware that this lead size is 0.9 millimeter that's bigger than your 0 0.5, 0 0.7 that you might be used to, but you can make it work if you kind of write with the edge of this. And then this one is one that you are going to turn to have that leg come out and then you twist it back in. These two cards here were from the seller Ruby Heart Crafts. Now here's the thing, you just get a random selection sent to you. You're not picking which cards are sent to you. So that could be a little tricky. For me, thankfully, I was able to get lucky and I got some that have this kind of journal background and then some that have this Parisian look to them. Again, I'll get into that in just a second, but I was able to utilize quite a few of them 
in this planner. Here I have a clear one that says elegance is quiet and this one is going to be from the shop planner press. Now these clear ones are going to be a little tricky. You're going to have to have them either in front of a darker background the way I do here or a darker paper if you're planning to put them in one of these card pages. Perfect example of that is going to be this Eiffel Tower one here. Now this one is from Sticky Monster. I was a little disappointed. Not not with this card by any means. It's a beautiful card and it does have this little knotted material here which you can choose your color and I believe the style of material that it is made from but I had originally wanted it to go over here but it didn't work. This card holder is a little frosty so you really can't even make out the Eiffel Tower. So that is why right now I have it in front of this card here. You can see a little bit of that outline, but just be aware you're gonna need some sort of darker background for that. Moving along to this larger paper clip here. This is from Luxury Plans, and it does have this little movable, which it's probably been squished down by now, flower on it. I honestly had every intention of removing that flower until I got it. Once I got it and I put it in here, I really like it. I think it brings just a little bit of color to the planner being that a lot of this is gonna be browns over here. So I decided to keep the flower. Now I can be wrong, but I believe as like a little extra bonus when ordering that one, that's where this gold paper clip came from. Now it's just a plain gold paper clip, but again, I have enough going on up here. I don't really need anything extra, so that's why I just put it on that one. Moving down, I have these initial magnets. These are going to be from the Rosy Life Planner. Again, they are magnets, and I will say, for what I have found personally so far, the G sticks a lot better than the L. There's more space here for the magnet on the underside of this pocket to reach where the L is kind of just a straight line. There's a little bit more to the G to be magnetized. So far, I've had this open, I've had it closed. Again, the L does move around just a little bit, but it's not anything that is falling off. Now they do show some where they put it here in this bottom outer corner. For me in this notebook, I think that's a little too thick. I would not be confident in putting that on the outside, especially the L. Maybe the G or another letter that has a lot of space again where it can be magnetized, but especially that L, I would not feel confident putting that on the outside. Now, as you may be able to tell, I did have kind of a French Louis look going to this planner, and that is going to continue here with these cards. Now, this little card holder is also from the Rosie Life Planner, along with this card here that says continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. And then this Beyond Grateful is almost a business card that they send with a little personalized note on the back. And I just like the way that it looked, so I put it in here. Now this Paris and Bon Bon Chocolate cards, these are, again are from Ruby Hearts Crafts, the same as these over here. I do have this little magnetized clip here in that kind of Louis look. And it's from the shop Oli Block. I will say in the picture when looking at this one, it did have more of a brownish tint to it, kind of that brownish tan background. As you can see here, it is pretty much straight up white and black, maybe gray and black. There's no brown tinge to that. It doesn't necessarily bother me personally. I just want you to be aware if you see this on the site, this is the way mine came in. All right, if we flip it over, I do have a few things here. I didn't want to just decorate the front and not the back. So I again took some more of those cards and again I was lucky to get a few Paris themed. I just kind of have a floral one here and then from a completely different order I got these stickers here. They're kind of uh, Starbucks inspired with Mickey Mouse which I'm seeing now as I'm doing this. I actually taped this to the back of that card and it's upside down so I might need to change that. Moving along though I do have our first section here and I originally ordered one a different initial it had more of a pink rose on it but instead it had a white background I absolutely adored it it's gorgeous but when I contacted the seller to ask if it could be printed on vellum I was told no so that one I've actually since framed and it's actually on my wall both this transparent vellum and this 
background here is going to be from the Rosy Life Planner. I ordered a bunch from this shop. They are in Finland. That is something about this planner that I absolutely love. It was a little frustrating when waiting for everything to get here, but this planner is international. I have things from Australia, Finland, Italy, a few places in the US, but this planner is international. I did take off this little paper clip here. This one, again, I think came as an extra with purchasing this floral one. Could be wrong. I know it came as an extra. I'm just not sure which shop sent it, but I like it. It has a little L on it. It is very dainty, small, and I'll show you in a second why that matters. But I just have that one here in the corner to kind of keep the vellum and the dashboard together. That way they're, you're not constantly flipping one and not the other. Kind of seamlessly keeps them together. Now I wanted this one right behind this card holder that way. Behind the card holder, you kind of have a background. You're not just going straight into the worksheets that I have. So for this one, I absolutely love it. I think it's a very nice design. Another thing I want to point out to you, so through the camera lens that you're seeing, this vellum looks very transparent. You can see this underside dashboard pretty well. You can make out the detail of it. I will say in person, it's not that transparent. I'm not really sure of the science behind it. I just don't want you to be disappointed if you order this based on the look and you realize that it looks a little different. It's not anything that bothers me. I still like the aesthetic. I just want you to be aware again, it does show up a little bit more transparent on camera than in person. Let's move on to our first section. First up here, I have these to-do list sheets from Nikki's paper. One thing that I was pleasantly surprised by when I received these is that they are double sided. Rather than using these for to-do lists, I kind of use these as a table of contents, if you will, for the videos that I need to film. As you can see, I have them all listed out and then I will check them off as I film them. And I have two sheets for this right now, again, front and back, so essentially four sheets of that. Making our way to our next section, the schedule. This is how I schedule videos, anything that's going on in my personal life. This is where I tend to keep all of that. That is something that has changed from the pink planner. That one I just use strictly for YouTube planning. Since then, I've kind of just put a little bit of everything, anything I need to remember is in here. Now these dividers here, I did get four. I actually needed five, but that was my mistake, but they came from the shop versus prints. Now this one is coming out of Italy. As you can see here, the little tab is gonna be in pretty much just a print, while each one has here in the middle more of a script font, and they are quite transparent. As for this floral dashboard here, it does have a harder plastic feel, but it is more transparent. This one I did really like, not only for the floral detail, but kind of this journal print here in the back and it is from the shop So Pro Designs. I kind of want to change this and another one a little bit, and you'll see why in a second. I think for right now it goes with the flow, the overall aesthetic of the planner, but I just like some of the other dashboards a little bit better. So I went back to the shop that I got those from, the Rosy Life Planner, and there's some other ones I think I could possibly change these with. That's for the future. Right now, this is what is here. This is what is being used. And then of course, I just have my monthly planner here. I'm actually needing to swap this one over because this planner actually went from July to June. We are in June at the time that I am filming this. So I need to go ahead and get July in here again. Moving on to our next portion, which is going to be this beauty tab. Again, love this clear divider. Behind this one now, I do have a vellum and it is going to be this window with florals and books. If you can guess why I chose this vellum to go with the beauty selection, then let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure if you've seen some of my past videos, you'll be able to tell me, but there is a reason behind that. Something that I do want to point out to you though, is that I will be reordering this one. I did not realize that I was ordering this one in vellum. I want it to be more of that white background, that harder plasticky feel. I, I believe it's gonna be a white background, but it's a laminated vellum. 
rather than this transparent one. It is very, very thin. As you can see, it's already kind of folding up a little bit. So I do plan to repurchase this one with the white background that is more of that laminated vellum. And again, this one also is from the Rosie Life Planner. Skipping on to our next portion, and it's going to be lifestyle. Now this, this right here is perfection to me. Even in person, you cannot tell there is a clear divider in front of this dashboard. In all of the other ones, let's take a look back real quick. You can kind of tell that they have something in front of them. This one just feels so smooth. I love the colors coming through. And this actually is what made me decide to go back and get this one in the white background. You can see, as you can see here, this one is gonna be more of that hard plastic. That is what I want for the beauty one. Not only that, this one just seems to flow with this script lifestyle here and it's right along the canopy of the picture love it if i were to take one picture of this planner and one picture only this would be the one that i chose i absolutely love this divider now here's where i made a mistake because i needed one more divider for where i do all of my vertical content be it a real a short a TikTok, whatever that may be did not even think about it so i just have this one here from the pink planner so one portion of that one did come over with me to this new planner. And then for our last section, I have this purchases tab. Now this is where I list anything that I need to buy for a video, anything that I'm needing to purchase for room decor, Amazon hauls, anything like that. This is where I'm doing this. And again, this one is going to be that hard plastic transparent dashboard, just like the one that we had in the front for the schedule. They came from the same shop, So Pros Design. This again is one that I am considering changing out, just not quite sure yet. This one I could be persuaded to keep, but I definitely think the one in the front I do want to trade out. It could come down to me getting a different white one and replacing this pink one here. So that that's an option too. Before we go, there is one more thing I wanna share with you with this planner, but to do that, I need to close it. So let me get it together and I will show you. All right, so last but not least are going to be these planner charms. These are on that larger paper clip. They have more of that Clover Louie design to them. I will say I was drawn to these by the look, but they're not the most sensible. You have three different hanging charms on each one. They can sometimes get caught in between the pages. They can get flipped through this little top portion of the paper clip. So they're not necessarily the most functional. What I kind of realized after the fact is I really like the size of this little one here. Although again, that one was a freebie. It wasn't something I planned on or ordered. I like the way that it fits in the planner. There have been a few times where it's gotten stuck in between the pages, but not like these. So I went back and looked and there are other large paper clips with small charms that I think I will change out with these. For now, this is gonna be it. This is what I'm using. This is what is in here. But as you can see, they've already kind of done their own little thing here where I think if I get the other ones that have smaller charms, they'll be able to hang here a little bit more like this, and you'll be able to actually appreciate the look of them. And they'll be a little more functional than these. We finished. That is my complete new planner. I'm not saying that you need everything that you saw today. I'm not saying you even need to take the Etsy route. This is just the route that I chose to take when organizing my new planner. I think it's going to be important for you to just look at what you're trying to find aesthetically, what is being offered, and go from there. This was a pricey project. Make no mistake of that. If you had gone through, say, Amazon or something else, maybe it wouldn't have been as expensive. I know my pink planner was a fraction of the cost, but for me, this one is worth it. This is something that kind of reflects my personality, my aesthetic, what I am interested in at this moment. So I have no regrets about any of it. And it was really fun to kind of get everything together and see it grow because 
Again, coming from Etsy, not everything came in at one time. I had to wait. So I was kind of building it as I received purchases. That is my new setup. Everything from the front to the back, start to finish. If you are still here at the end, I thank you for staying the entire time. I know it was a long video, but I do appreciate you taking the time to walk through this new planner setup with me. If you are interested in seeing the planner that I started with, then I will have that one linked for you here. Where you can go ahead and check that one out to see how this all began.